It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams. All that and more coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Well, the first month of the season has flown by. We are on to October. We've got a captivating matchup in store as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford, the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. And they'll begin on the ground here with Evans. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Stafford now to throw. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and four. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Pass complete there in the cool. A big connection on that one. 48 yards. We're scoreless after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing is Stafford. Looking middle and that's complete. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the seven, it's second and five. Throwing again at Stafford. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. 
And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Stafford. On the screen, this is Evans. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And they'll run for it with Evans. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here's second and seven. They'll throw now on the final play. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there in terms and has of our EA Sports Halftime Report. There's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Hurts. 
This short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this across the 50 to the 49. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first and ten, it's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Here comes second down and five. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Now a man picked up on draft night this year, DeAndre Swift. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. This is first and 10. One last throw here for Stanford. And it's 
It's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And not all Ws are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. No, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go